Hello mga kalobo, isa na namang araw upang tayo ay matuto ng mga tipid tips at iba pang diskarte sa buhay. So, today guys, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano gamitin ang SSS Mobile App. So guys, kung wala pa kayong SSS Mobile App, available siya sa App Store or Play Store. Okay? So, simulan na natin guys. So, ito siya guys. Ito yung uh, mobile app or mobile logo ng SSS. I-click lang natin yan. Okay. So, upon clicking guys, ito yung makikita nyo sa screen. Okay. Ito actually yung homepage ng SSS. So, makikita nyo dito sa uh, page na to yung pangalan at um, SSS number nyo sa top right corner at uh, sa baba naman makikita nyo yung my information, my contributions, my loans, my benefits, generate PRN or SOA at saka maternity notification. So simulan natin guys dito sa my information. Okay? Click natin yan. So, upon clicking, ito yung makikita natin dalawang tab. So, yung una is view information at yung pangalawa ay update information. So, kapag klinik natin yung view information, makikita natin dito yung personal information natin like yung CRN number, SS number, full name, date of birth, date of coverage. Ito yung date kung kailan kayo nag-start or naging active sa... SSS guys, sa payment nyo at yung coverage status, SS number status. So, makikita nyo active at saka yung humid savings account number. Okay. So, i-slide lang natin to guys pa left. Ayan, makikita natin yung contact information like yung landline number, mobile number, email local home address kapag nandito ka sa Pilipinas at foreign home address kapag nasa ibang bansa ka naman. So, nandito din yung local mailing address at saka yung foreign mailing address. Okay? So, pwede ba nating i-update or i-edit to? Yes, guys. Pwedeng-pwede. So, bumalik lang tayo dito at i-click natin yung update information. So, makikita nyo dito may tatlong options. Contact details, local mailing address, foreign mailing address. So, dito sa contact details, guys, dito nyo ma-update yung landline number, yung mobile number, at saka yung email nyo. So, i-edit nyo lang na ganyan. So, once na na-edit nyo na, you have to click ito, submit. Okay? So, balik lang tayo, guys. Okay. So, punta naman natin itong pangalawa. I'm sorry, which is itong local mailing address. So, dito guys, dito nyo ilalagay yung uh, address nyo dito sa Pilipinas kung nandito kayo sa Pilipinas. Okay? So, ilalagay nyo dyan yung room, floor, unit number, and building name. Pangalawa, yung house number nyo. Lot and block number. Yung street, yung subdivision. At saka ilalagay nyo din kung nasa Metro Manila kayo or outside of Metro Manila. Okay? Okay, so after nyan, uh, may third option din tayo which is yung foreign mailing address. Dito sa foreign mailing address guys, ilagay lang natin yung address, yung city kung saan tayo nag-work or nakatira, yung zip code at saka yung country. So makikita nyo dyan guys yung iba't ibang bansa. So mamimili lang kayo dyan yung bansa kung saan kayo nakatira or nag-work. Okay. So, hit submit. So, upon hitting submit guys, bumalik kayo dito at magre-reflect kagad yung information na nilagay nyo. Okay? Alright. So, balik tayo guys. Dito naman tayo sa my contributions. So, obviously, dito nyo makikita yung uh, total number of Contributions posted. Ito yung buwan, guys. So, kung makikita nyo, may 36 months na ako. So, next month, guys, pwede na akong mag-salary loan. Abangan nyo yan, okay? So, sa pangalawa naman, makikita nyo yung total amount of contributions. Okay? So, yan yun. 
So, actually, kung makikita niyo dito, hindi ako regular na nagbabayad ng SSS. Uh, actually, noon nung nasa private company pa ako, eh, regular ako nagbabayad. Pero ngayon, guys, since nasa government ako, nag-work, uh, hindi na siya regular kasi hindi naman siya parte ng mga premium na binabayaran namin. Okay? But, uh, nakita ko yung long-term investment at saka yung potential ng SSS talaga na, I mean, makakakuha ka ng passive income upon your retirement at saka yung iba pang benefits na makukuha mo. So, tinuloy-tuloy ko siya, guys. Okay? So, after nyan, guys, makikita nyo naman dito yung my loans. May loan ba ako? Siyempre, wala pa. Okay? So, makikita nyo dito, salary loan status. Kung nag-loan kayo sa SSS, guys, dito nyo makikita kung ano ba ang status ng salary loan nyo. Okay? So, since wala akong loan, ang sabi dito is, member has no latest salary loan application. Okay? So, kailangan daw akong mag-apply next month, guys. So, dito naman sa salary loan balance, syempre, no loan information dahil wala naman akong loan. But, in case na may loan kayo, guys, dyan yung makikita. Kung magkano na yung nahihulog nyo o magkano na yung balance nyo. Okay? So, ito naman, apply for salary loan. Yan, ang sabi, your posted contributions is only 35 Therefore, you lack the required number of contributions of 36 months for you to qualify for the one-month salary loan. Okay, so next month, guys, uh, as I've told you, pwede na akong mag-loan. Okay, abangan natin yan, okay? So dito naman sa my benefits, alright, makikita natin dito yung sickness claim info, maternity claim info, retirement claim info, disability claim info at EC medical status. So dito sa sickness claim info guys, hindi naman ako nag-apply uh, for sickness claim info but kapag nag-apply kayo guys, makikita nyo dito yung claims nyo, okay? Or your other benefits na mag-claim nyo moving forward sa SSS. Ito, maternity claim info kapag meron kayong misis na nanganak, okay, or buntis kayo, mga anak kayo, pwede kayong mag-apply for a maternity claim info. Makikita nyo rin dito yung, syempre, itong retirement claim info, itong disability claim info, at ito nga, EC medical status. Okay, so balik tayo sa main page, guys. Dito naman, ito, important ito guys, yung itong Generate PRN or SOA. Okay? PRN stands for Payment Reference Number. So actually, dito ako nag-generate guys uh, last month. Kasi pumunta ako sa field office ng SSS to ask kung pwede ba akong maghulog or pwede ko bang ituloy yung paghulog ko. Ang sabi nila, yes. Ang tinanong ko, how much naman ang pwede kong ihulog? Ang answer nila is, uh, any amount daw ay pwede kong ihulog. Pero mas maganda daw na maghulog ako ng mas mataas para maihabol ko yung months na hindi ako naghulog. At tinanong ko din guys kung pwede ko bang hulugan pa yung months na tapos na, na hindi ko nahulugan. And it's a big no. Hindi sila tumatanggap ng payment sa mga buwan na hindi tayo nakapaghulog guys. Okay? So, ang dapat na gawin natin ay taasan na lang natin yung contributions natin monthly para mabawi natin yung mga buwan na nasayap na hindi tayo naghulog. Okay? So, dito guys, sa, sa PRN, dito ka actually mag-degenerate nung payment reference number before ka magbayad. Okay? So, last month, guys, nag-generate ako ng payment reference number at ito nga yung binayaran ko. 2080 at posted na siya sa account ko. Okay? So, moving forward, kung gusto mo ulit mag-generate -mag, uh, ng PRN or kung gusto mo magbayad, i-click mo lang itong create. Okay? And then, generate. 
So, ilalagay mo lang dyan guys, yung una, membership type. Ilagay mo lang dyan kung voluntary ka or OFW. And then, dito, application period. Kunwari, today or, yeah, this month is May. Or today is May. So, yun guys, May ang ilalagay nyo. And then, 2021. Ganun din dito sa baba. Dito. So, ganyan lang siya guys. Uh, May 20... 21 Saka yung month Ganun din, May 2021 Okay, ganyan lang siya guys Then please select payment So ang sinelect ko dito actually is Yung 2080 Ito Okay, and then you just need to click Submit Alright So since nag-generate na ako last month guys uh, Actually pinadalhan na po Ni SSS ng bagong PRN number na magagamit ko for next month. So, next month is June. Okay? So, once nakapag-generate ka na guys, you don't need to generate again kasi once na nagamit mo na, nakapagbayad ka na, papadalhan ka ni SSS ng bagong PRN number na magagamit mo the following month. Okay? Okay, and then last one, itong maternity notification. So, sabi niya, sorry, only qualified female members are allowed to submit maternity notification. For queries, please visit SSS branch. Okay. So, ito guys, kung, kung gusto mo mag-apply ng maternity uh, benefits, dito ko lang pumunta. Okay? Alright. So, ganun lang siya guys. If you have questions, just let me know. You can always drop your questions in the comment box. Okay? Kung may request kayo guys, pwede kayong mag-request at i-review natin yan or i-discuss na natin yan sa next na video natin na i-upload. Okay? So, again guys, uh, thank you very much for watching. I do hope guys na na-explain ko mabuti itong... SSS Mobile app at sana please mag-subscribe kayo sa aking channel and hit the notification bell para ma-notify kayo every time na mag-upload ako ng bagong video, okay? Alright? Sige guys, goodbye. Ingat!